हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एके एस आई ए एस मेन शिक्षणा प्रोग्राम टूडेज क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फॉर सेकेंड जुलाई 2024 ट्वेंटी फोर दट इज सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन डिस्कस इंडिया फॉरन पॉलिसी प्रायोरिटीज इन द कंटेक्स ऑफ राइजिंग जियो पोलिटिकल टेंशन सो हियर वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन फर्स्ट रूल वट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री स्टेप्स बिफोर राइटिंग आंसर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज क्वेश्चन रीडिंग सो वी नीड टू फर्स्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन so how many parts are there in the question only one part how many question tags are there only one how many keywords are there india's foreign policy is the important topic here and also priority is in the context of rising geopolitical tensions it is also a keyword right question tag is discuss discuss means what is here we need to provide significance for we need to write a significant part and also we need to write some positive notes and also we need to discuss negative negative means here we need to write the challenges of india's foreign policy in the context of rising geopolitical tensions right so finally we need to give some needed measures what india should take some uh, measures to control all these rising not control to avoid all these uh, geopolitical effects right so needed measures also there we need to conclude simply what are what is the second step we need to brainstorm brainstorming is the important second step in our answer writing strategy here we need to uh, uh, re recall important concepts or important keywords related to this concept what is the topic india's foreign policy so historically we need to focus on each and every keyboard so we can write uh, related to some non aligned movement or uh, we have india's neighborhood policy now panchashil agreement we have we have uh, some uh, alliances or summits like quad alliance uh, aukas alliance etc are there right so what are the important current affairs we need to include here we need to include some examples recent examples or current affairs like russia ukraine conflict and also we have us china rivalry indo pacific dynamics are also we need to include so finally we need to focus on presenting the answer so third step is very very important what are the important features or aspects we need to follow in the presenting our answer whether it is uh if it is geography we need to include all the important maps diagrams or uh, etc so if it is polity we need to include all the laws or policies or amendments or recommendations supreme court uh, cases etc so if it is history we need to add some factual information and also here the subject is international relations so we need to include recent current affairs means here international relations is more dynamic and less static right so we need to include all the information related to current affairs okay first we need to focus on how to write introduction for this answer so here introduction need to start with recent geopolitical events affecting india for example we have recently russia ukraine uh, conflict right we can include that important keyword and also us china rivalry uh, trade tensions are there and also evolving dynamics in the indo pacific region especially indo pacific region in indo pacific region we have already facing important dynamics like uh, security concerns or china prominence etc right so in this context what is the, what is the india's foreign policy right we need to include or interconnect with these current uh, current events uh, recent current events so we can write a two to three lines introduction after that we need to mention at least two lines regarding historical overview overview of our india's foreign policy what is the historical overview so india's foreign policy historically we have uh, followed so many principles of non alignment and strategic autonomy right we can include that point also uh, even though we have so many uh, tensions are changing global scenario india's focus recently we have observed in g20 summit also 
So G20 summit or some other summits, India's prominent leadership or strategic leadership or peaceful security, promoting peace, security and economic development, uh, we have seen in the context of uh, India's leadership, right? So all the information, all the historical overview, we need to include in that in two points, two, two, three lines, okay? So next we need to come in the body part. So we need to focus on body part here. We need to uh, start or we have to start current geopolitical tensions. So what are the important current recent geopolitical tensions here? Already discussed, right? Russia-Ukraine conflict here affecting India's energy security and economic, uh, secu uh, economic stability especially. So we need to not only give the points but also we need to add evidences what are what is the meaning of evidences here we need to give the examples recent examples that energy uh, india's energy security related cons uh, concerns and also economic stability related issues so and also next us china rivalry related issue also we can include here so uh, due to this impact, it will be impacted on India's regional security and especially in the Indo-Pacific region. So, uh, on other hand, we have Indo-Pacific dynamics also, uh, rise of China, especially in the assertiveness in the South China Sea, right? South China Sea and also along with the LEAC, means line of control, mainly border, border issue is there with India and uh, between India and China. So it necessitated a strong regional strategy also, right? We need to include all these points. Apart from that, we need to focus on foreign policy priorities. What are the important foreign policy priorities India need to follow? So strategic partnerships and alliances. First, we need to focus on what are the important strategic partnerships and alliances we have. We have quad, quadrilateral dial dialogue, right? In this we have four countries Japan and Australia and India and also US led right that is uh, it is led by US right security alliance and also we have uh, importantly AUKUS AUKUS also one of the important uh, strategic uh, alliance right strategic pact but it is not involved in uh, as uh, India India is on not a member in not directly member but indirectly discussing regarding the situation or uh, regarding the uh, prominence of china in the indo-pacific region right here we need to focus all these things apart from that we need to focus on not only strategic partnerships and alliances we need to focus on economic uh, diplomacy right diplomacy uh, initiatives and also we need to focus on issues uh, regional stability and security issues right uh, we have seen China's territorial and also maritime security uh, related prominence in the entire Indo-Pacific region, right? We need to focus on that. And also we have to write energy security issues, concerns, uh, that is the important priority here. So also finally, technological and scientific collaboration, we need to fo focus or we need to follow up all these uh, important priorities because uh, India, especially ge uh, rising geopolitical tensions, what is the uh, path India is to move is the uh, very difficult situation here. For example, we have Israel Hamas situation or Israel Palestine situation, right? Palestine situa uh, relations, right? Uh, war here. If India supports Israel, that will impact India and Palestine relations. If India, pa uh, India supports Palestine, it will be impacted in Israel and India relations. So, uh, same like uh, Russia Ukraine also, right? Russia Ukraine conflict also. Same case. In the same case, India, if India supports Ukraine, the relations between India and uh, uh, Russia will be impacted. Same like related to Ukraine also, right? So here we need to focus on all these issues. Apart from that, recent examples we need to include or we have to include recent examples quad summit or indo-pacific economic framework indo-pacific economic framework is there ipef it is related to a uh, recent india joined the ipf to enhance economic cooperation in the region right india russia recently india russia energy deal was signed 
uh, uh, amidst the Russia Ukraine conflict, right? India negotiated discounted oil purchases from Russia to ensure energy security, right? All these important points are relevant in this context of rising geopolitical tensions, right? Uh, apart from that, we need to focus on India EU trade agreement also, right? India EU trade agreement also very important ongoing negotiations uh, for for a comprehensive trade agreement here with EU, European Union. So, apart from that, what are the important challenges? All these are positive notes, but what are the important negative aspects? Means challenges. India's foreign policy priorities are increasing very rapidly uh, related to navigate rising geopolitical tensions, but here we need to focus on some concerns or uh, challenges like energy security or uh, related to uh, technological collaboration or we have related to terrorism or cyber security issues in the region and also we need to focus on some global shifts or strategic autonomy. Finally, in the conclusion we need to write India need to move or moving forward India must continue to adopt a global shifts, right? We need, India need to follow a global shift, a strategic autonomy. India need to attain a strategic autonomy to play a pivotal role in the world stage while promoting peace and stability in an increasingly multipolar world. So that is the important essence we need to just we need to for, uh, write a two line conclusion before that we need to mention some measures needed measures what are the important needed measures by strengthening strategic partnership enhancing economic and energy security. Uh, and also increasing technological co collaboration, India aims to secure its national interests. The national interest is the main priority of India here. So, uh, uh, that is the main essence of the important needed measures to be taken by the India. So, right, all the important uh, uh, points are relevant examples, recent current affairs examples are uh, needed here. Okay, focus on important best approach is this. So, Focus on the answer, so such they are ready. Upload your PDF answers, scanned, full-fledged, fully neated and clearly mentioned scanned uh, PDF in the upload section, that is assignment section in the AKS new batch. Okay, mains section of free initiative batch was there. So, please go there and upload your answer within time. Means we are giving up to 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. every day. So, from 8 or 7 or 8 to 2 or 3 pm. So, in this time, you need to upload your answer. Okay. Look at the answer India's role in recent Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Palestine conflict highlighted the diplomacy policy of the economy. Very good, simple introduction. And also, here one flowchart is drawn by Shashdar. So, socio economic ties, non alignment, de hyphenation, and peacekeeping, soft power. Very, very important keyword soft power. India is uh, currently focusing on this soft power. India's independence amid colonial war tensions made it become founding non alignment movement. Very good. Non alignment Panchashil policy is the also written. So, D hyphenation policy India balances counter opposite countries. India strategically balances Iran and Saudi Arabia and uh, Middle East countries and US, Russia especially in the generally adverse to each other, right? Next, we need to focus on what are the important other important uh, significance of this uh, topic. India pushes world peace and is the second biggest peacekeeping force contributor for UN after uh, Bangladesh. And also, next, it, India utilizes its cultural outreach soft power on international platforms example nalanda university written right very good india's role in big brother in subcontinent example big uh, beamstack and iora right indian ocean region and also world's largest host country to refugees very good uh, no first to use policy and also added very good sdg goals especially india's uh, despite being nuclear powers uh, behaves continuously leading to international solar alliance very very good 2015 so indo-pacific policy of us and uh, g20 etc very good g20 summit is very very important keyword recently was held and also quad summit also very very important quad quad was missed here recently india 
let this uh, submit for related dialogue despite re responsible policy of india in diplomatic relations india is not subscriber of international refugee agreements nsg nuclear nuclear suppliers group now the asian treaty is through it upholds the pro, uh, philosophy involved in it which further needs policy strengthening so here only in the conclusion itself shashidhar written some challenges right okay good so in in the entire concept we need to focus on how many uh, are important uh, steps were taken by him so uh, good introduction there before that uh, he also interlinked some overview of our india's foreign policy and also written uh, drawn a flow chart very good value added point here he included so some panchashil agreements and all recent examples like g20 peace keeping force and also uh, we have uh, beam stick summits sir uh, iora no first use policy apart from that we can also include neighborhood first policy right neighborhood first policy we have also included immediate uh, uh, we have immediate neighbors also extended neighbors are also are there right so we need to include that uh, except uh, uh, missed point quad so here what is the importance of the question tag discuss we have already discussed first we need to focus on uh, important significance part next uh, pause uh, significance means almost pause two parts right uh next we need to focus on negatives negatives means we need to write some challenges here and also finally we need to provide solutions for these challenges solutions solutions orientedly we need to focus in the we can include solutions uh, points in the uh, con uh, conclusion itself okay no need to worry regarding the word limit here we need to write the answers only in two pages okay do or don't exceed the uh, exceed your word limit or pages It, uh, these are all these are uh, all these questions are only related to 10 marks answer right that's why we need to write in two pages only so many aspirants are sending their answers in three pages four pages don't do like that S just simply do write in two pages only we need to follow and also 150 only 150 word limit is there right so please follow that apart from that here we need to uh, give some marks regarding this answer uh, here we need to highlight the challenges and also we need to focus on solutions right so that's why here we need to we can give four and a half out of 10 marks very good very good uh, every day writing uh, shashdar is writing but uh, i'm taking only certain answers who are following some uh, our principles like uh, uh, we we have set some rules right before 2 pm or 3 pm we need to submit our answers and also we need to write some uh, beautiful means clear cut scanned answers right upsc format or four sided bordered uh, answer sheets should be taken by students okay Do, uh, do follow the answers. I will also show or display your answers too. Okay? Don't bother about that. Uh, otherwise, if I take only one answer to display here, I am evaluating each and every answers in the app itself. Don't bother about that. Okay? Don't uh, also don't feel about marks. Also, we need to improve one or half mark, one mark extra. Right? Okay? every day if we get 3 marks tomorrow we will get definitely 4 marks okay we need to increase our marks up to 6 and up that is our target don't mislead your preparation okay be focus for tomorrow's answer main section a question for 3rd july 2024 that is day 5 discuss the challenges and prospects of implementing universal health care in india that is related to social justice topic subject okay very very important topic uh, it is in the society concept in ap and also in telangana okay very very important social justice topic discuss the challenges discuss is the question tag and challenges is the keyword and prospects of implementing universal health care concept is universal health care okay in india especially this also very important universal health care means we need to we need not include the world context okay only in india context we need to write the points okay uh, try to write the answers before 3 pm and also upload your answers thank you very much all the very best